What's going on? Kyle Wilson here. Welcome to the channel. And in this one, we'll be talking about layer two solutions in the blockchain space and why I think Immutable X is undervalued and is going to do really well in the next bull run, as well as some cool projects minting on Immutable X as well, like Wag Me Games. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and dive right in. All right, so I found this really useful Twitter thread and it's created by Odin underscore free about layer threes and ZK EVMs and why it's so important and why it's kind of a breakthrough in terms of layer twos, even down to the layer three. But we'll be diving into this so you can understand from a beginner perspective, hopefully all the way through. And I'll go ahead and link this, of course, at the end of the video. But um, we'll also talk about cool projects minting on layer two on Immutable X as well and why I think this is super important for Immutable X and why I think in the next bull run, Immutable X could be a top 30 coin. All right, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive in. It says here, Ethereum just took a major leap forward exploring ZK EVM on layer three, Starknet. Discover the fundamental pro uh, concepts that even a non-tech people can understand in this thread. Generally, a ZK EVM or zero knowledge Ethereum virtual machine is a variant of the EVM that uses zero knowledge or validity proof technology to allow cryptographic proof of the execution of Ethereum-like transactions. This means that the prover can demonstrate that a transaction has been executed correctly in a very efficient way or validity proofs with, or without revealing any sensitive information about the transaction itself, ZK, ZK proofs. There are several different types of ZK EVM projects, each with its own goals and trade offs. Some aim to be fully compatible with Ethereum while others make minor modifications to Ethereum data structure to make development easier and proof generation faster. Others support subset of EVM functionality while others use a completely different execution model. ZK EVM projects can improve the Ethereum platform in several ways. Scalability. ZK EVMs can help Ethereum process more transactions faster at a lower cost by moving some of the work off chain. Privacy. ZK ZK EVMs can help protect the privacy of transactions on Ethereum by allowing them to be verified without revealing the underlying data. Compatibility. ZK EVMs can be used with the Ethereum platforms without any changes, making it easy to use with existing Ethereum applications, unlike other chains that have to update every time L1 updates, essentially. Security and confidentiality. Most ZK EVMs use a technology called validity proofs to prove that transactions have been executed without revealing all the underlying data, which can add an extra layer of security to Ethereum applications. Did you know even though StarkNet uses a different execution model than the EVM, a ZK EVM is being, being built on top of its Cairo as a layer three solution. So let me break this down, it say, or it says, it may seem confusing, let me break it down. Cairo is a programming language developed by Starware that is used to create validity proofs. A validity proof is a way to prove that something is true in a very efficient way. For example, you could prove that you know the answer to a math problem without actually revealing to anyone the entire calculation. Um, so there's a few projects it looks like here that are working on exactly that, uh, including Carrot ZK EVM and another team that's been transpiling Solidity to Cairo, which is really cool. Basically, um, essentially, you know, translate that to, you know, L1s to L2s and vice versa. Um, so it's really cool. In a nutshell, uh, you can see the different flow chart right here or this chart here that shows the layer three. You have control, privacy and hyperscale at the, and then the layer two, general purpose composability, permissionless and scale. And of course, the layer three, which is the security and decentralization that these layer twos rely on. And we can go down here and see more layer three StarkNet, layer two StarkNet, and layer one. Um, you can see the Cairo uh, verifier on the L2 and all these different applications at the very bottom on the layer three. And then you can see the Cairo utilizations right here. Um, all the different use cases, scope of data. You have ZK EVMs, uh, which could include social data, Ethereum data, StarkX, U your bit EVM, healthcare data, personal devices data, lifestyle data, and so on. Then you have open finance, pension data, loans and mortgage data, investments, and open banking, account data, transaction data, and KYC data, and the list goes long. You can see the scope of open experiences here uh, that also um, are included in this chart, like onboarding, then you have automated tax filing, all the way to you healthcare financing um, here. So storage proofs, as you can see, as Cairo utilizations and the scope of the data. So this is pretty important in terms of how this could affect the entire, you know, not only just crypto, blockchain, but society when you have a ZK EVM like this that you know allows people to transact on the blockchain without revealing all their personal information while still verifying the transaction and a very in a very scalable way. All right, we know that layer ones and side chains are 
aren't super scalable and it will take some time. Even if they are EVM compatible, they still have to update to the layer one. But with ZK EVMs, this is entirely different because they're basically, you know, <laughs> essentially just translating it to their um, the layer two and vice versa. So with that being said, and if I did get anything wrong, just comment down below and we'll get that updated. But yeah, there's some cool projects minting right now on layer two, as a matter of fact, doing some pretty cool stuff, Wag Me Games, and they are dropping their very first comic. And it's the very first comic, I believe on GameStop Marketplace that is readable. So this is kind of a historic drop and they have some pretty cool art, including this guy, General oh, Stamima. My name is General Stamima and I'm here direct from the upcoming mobile tower defense game to tell you, buckle up, buttercup. The team at Wagme Games is about to take you on a journey. The inaugural comic book entitled The Betrayal is about to drop and you have a chance to be a part of history. There will only be 5,973 NFTs to claim. And by the way, things are shaping up. There will be a battle bigger than my latest account with Commander Archon to own one of these beauties. Not only will you meet your comic guess free, thanks to our friends at Amuble X, but you will be able to actually read the entire comic right in the browser of the GameStop Marketplace. Yes, this is the first comic collection ever readable on the detail page in the world. But wait, there's more. Those who make a digital copy may claim a physical copy as well. Bullish. And if that's not good enough, just by holding the copy, you'll get a monthly war chest full of amazing goodies in the Wagme Defense app. Utility? That's how the Wagme game devs roll. It all goes down December 19th, 2022. So be prepared to immerse yourself in the first chapter of the lore of the Nephi War. The only question will be, what cover will you get? But that's all I got for this video. Hopefully that expanded your mind about ZK EVMs, Layer 3s and StarkNet, as well as how potentially great that could be for platforms like Immutable X. And be sure to check out Wagme Games and their comic book drop, which is really cool. So without further ado, be like an NFT, be authentic, and I'll catch you later. Peace.